everybody this is my second video about veiling and we're going to talk about things like birdcage veils and using combs and things with veils now i'll start off with a birdcage uh, you've probably heard the term and it is like a little cage just over the front of the face normally fixed to one point on the head now, for this, I would have liked to have used 10 inch veiling, but I've only, I haven't got any 10 inch at the moment. I've only got eight, so I'm using eight inch. And again, I'm using this red because I've got a lot of it. And as you can probably imagine, I get through a lot of stuff with these videos. So I'll just show you there. It's um, eight inches. Now, first of all, we've got to work out how much we need for a good look, for a good shape, because it's going to go round the head and up and be stitched to the comb. So I'm going to opt for about 25 inches. Now, if it's too much, I can cut it down. If it's too little, you're stumped. So always cut slightly bigger than you need. So I'm going to cut a piece off at 25. Now it's quite crinkly this net, so what I did was I ironed it on a very low heat with some steam. Um, and we will be steaming this into shape at the end. So oh, so there's my there's my piece that I'm going to be using. And as always, I want to do V cuts and I want to curve it because I want a nice shape to come in at the top because we will be stitching it from the bottom all the way round. and if I pull it up just like this you'll see we get too much bulk and it doesn't it doesn't look very pretty and you end up with sort of a too much veil and it doesn't look nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve from the bottom oh, that edge is not very straight but still I'm going to curve round slightly like that probably taken two and a half inches off from the top and I'm going to do the same on this side so I've curved it in and thus reduced the bulk a little bit at the top and now I'm going to do what I like to do with the top is to cut some V's. It's not easy with net because it bounces all over the place, but um, I'm going to do it. Also, it means that you take off this edge, which is quite stiff. And again, would, would give you more bulk at the top of the veil, which you don't really want. You want it to look really pretty and not bulky so i'm going to stop talking and speed up with this right so i'm going to run a thread all the way around the net so catching my v's and all the way down the side so i won't bore you with that bit i'll just crack on with it and come back to you in a moment All right, so there's my birdcage veil, which will go around the face. And obviously I will be blocking that as well. And then you've got to figure out what comb you're attaching it to. So for, for this purpose, I'm only going to use this red comb. Okay. So What I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch it that way first. And then... Oops, stitch it that way because remember the combs need to slide back into the hair they don't go forward into it they slide back into the hair and if you're giving tips on how to fix a comb in hair the best way to do it is slightly back comb the hair just there unless it's an updo obviously back comb it a bit slide to curvy grips or bobby pins in across 
give a bit of hairspray on that and then slide the comb over the pins and it keeps it really secure. So I'm just going to stitch this on and come back to you in a second. Okay. So I've sewn it on like that. And now what will happen when the net's not all caught into it, it will go over like that, which means it will poof up so that it goes in the hair that way. Now, if you don't want it poofy, you will then have to stitch it down here. And obviously, if you're stitching um, decoration and all that sort of thing on it, that will flatten it slightly at that angle. But um, I've caught the sewing in a bit wrong there, but there we are. I shall fiddle about with it to show you the finished finished result. Now, when I've finished the veil, I pin it on a polystyrene block and then I steam it and then I leave it to dry. When you flock a veil, it isn't going to keep its shape unless you um, pad it out. So for transport or storage, the best thing to do is once you've done your veil and you take it off your block, is pack it with tissue like this so that you can keep the shape that you've gone all, all, to all that trouble to make. So pack it with some tissue and store it like that and it will keep, it, keep its shape. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll put it in a box and it will all go flat and you'll have to steam it every single time you use it. Right, this time we're going to talk about wrap around veils. They wrap around the face and they are slightly different. <clears throat> I'm using the same veiling again and I cut a piece, I think it's about 16 inches long. Yeah. But this is too wide for what I want. So I am going to cut it down slightly either side. And again, I'll be doing it with my usual, trying very hard not to, um, to cut it really neatly so that I haven't got any sticky out bits. Now, this is going to take me a while to do. So, I'll come back to you in a moment when I've finished. Now, I'm hoping you can see here what I've done. What I've done is I've cut down either side and I've cut across so that I've got a neat edge like that. And to be honest, I don't like the... Um, the edge that is on veiling, that horrible sort of nasty edge. I think it's too bulky and it looks horrible. Now, <clears throat> because this is going to go from the forehead down, I am Curved. going to... Now, be careful. If you were just doing one across the eyes, you wouldn't need to bother doing that. But as this is going to have the nose in the middle and a bit of bulk there, I'm just going to curve it a bit on the ends. So, like that so it comes comes in I'll do it on the other side now what I might do is curve it a bit more because I've <clears throat> otherwise it tends to stick away from the head and you at, the, at your forehead area and you don't really want that so just cut a bit more off very messy this you end up loads of bits everywhere I mean you can play about with the shapes <clears throat> and what you do with them excuse my croaky voice today I'm not so anyway <clears throat> so I've curved the edges and I've cut these edges and then I'm going to gather just these two ends now the nice thing about this is that if you want to add decoration you can uh, sometimes it's nice to cut out little pieces of lace and put them on, but bear in mind that weights the net down. So you have to do it evenly. If you put weight on one side of the net, you've got to put weight on the other side. 
bit like if you make a hat with too much decoration on one side it'll flop so you've got to weight the other side but that's another that's another video right so i won't bore you with this bit i'll just gather up and i'm going to fix it to little cones and again little metal cones these are the best ones for this type of violin now what i'm going to do is fix them like before i'm going to fix them to the front as such of the veiling. So I'm gonna pop them on the front like that. And right, so I've stitched my combs on. Now, oop, when you fix these combs to the hair, what you're doing is fixing them that way, really, onto the head. You want to fix them inwardly and not push them outwardly. Uh, depending on the types of veils, types of hats, types of headbands, there are various ways of putting the comb on so that they fix better. If A lot of the time, if they fix forward in certain hairstyles, is better. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to steam it onto my uh, polystyrene head again, and then I'll show you the finished article. Thanks for watching. Uh, lots more videos to come. I will be doing bridal veiling and other forms of veiling, tulle, etc. So keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing and thank you very much.